I never really collected Warhammer Epic back in the day. I was more interested in GW's fantasy games, but I always loved the scale of Epic because it reminds me of some of my other childhood passions like Micro Machines and Mighty Max. There's just something truly wonderful about this tiny scale. I mean, miniatures are great, but miniature miniatures? I mean, come on, amazing. And today on the Hobby Grotto, I'm gonna show you how I painted an Orc Battle Wagon and a Space Marine Rhino in this adorable scale. The first thing I'm gonna do with this little wagon is a good old dry brush over the whole model with a mix of silver and brown. And this is going to give a bit more of a dirty, grimy looking metal, reminiscent of the old Tin Bits paint. And I have to say, the Orc miniatures are perhaps my favorite in the whole Epic range. I mean, Orcs are just awesome to begin with, but their vehicles are so wacky, I just wanna collect them all. And you can have way more of them in this scale than in regular 40K, so that's great. I'm coming back with a lighter dry brush of Lead Belcher to catch some more of the detail. And when you're painting your own models, you can decide how clean or dirty you want your orc vehicles to be just by the amount of pure silver you dry brush at this stage. Don't forget, we're also going to be adding some known oil later, so that will darken it further. Now, Bad Moons are my favorite orc clan because I think yellow works so nicely with grimy beaten metal. So I'm basing all the yellow parts firstly with some XV-88 so the yellow isn't just going straight over black. This can be very handy for bright colors like yellow. And it's a tough call deciding how much color to put on these minis because the old school orcs where like the entire miniature was yellow looks so awesome. But I'm going a bit more sparing in what you could call a slightly more modern orc approach with a nice contrast between the yellow and metal bits. I really wanted to paint a vehicle with one of these awesome pointy wizard roofs because I don't know, something about that is iconic epic orc to me. Avalon Sunset is our yellow and it's a great yellow. I highly recommend this paint. You know, it does have good coverage, but coming in over a nice yellowy brown like XV88 really fills out its tone. I couldn't help myself painting all these roof tiles individually, but this could also easily be achieved with a wash. I'm painting this model as a single mini, so if you're painting a bunch of vehicles, nothing wrong with speeding up the process, but I really wanted that black and yellow contrast here with the tiles because it's kind of the focal point of the mini if you think about it. A final detail before the wash is some black on those tires, even though they did look kind of cool as metal wheels. Now I know I'm putting a black wash over the yellow, but Null Oil is going to work so well with the rest of the model, and Orcs are grimy anyway, so I think it's fine for yellow. We don't want to be mucking around with different washes on a model this small, and I'm going to be bringing back the vibrance of the yellow with highlights anyway. Time to come back and brighten up that yellow. And I'm going to be moving through a few different colors here, firstly with Avaland, and then onto further highlights with Aerial Yellow, because I want it nice and bright. But these are small models, you know, and if you're painting to a tabletop standard, everything after the wash is pretty optional. It's up to you how far you want to take these kinds of models. Now, if you're enjoying this video, two great ways to support the Hobby Grotto are by becoming a channel member or leaving a super thanks, both of which you can find just below the video. It's always appreciated. Some final highlights are being added with a mix of aerial yellow and white, just to get a bit more definition on some of the key areas. And I'm really liking how this yellow is turning out. It's got that nice golden hue that comes from working up through XV88 and Ablin Sunset. The Bad Moons would be proud. I did even think about adding some blue in there on some parts of the vehicle, but I like the simplicity of keeping the color count minimal here. Before I finish, the tires looked a bit plain, so I'm giving them a little highlight with Eshin Gray, this is a problem you get with black sometimes, it looks a little unfinished, but a nice dark grey can sort that out. What a fun mini to paint, I might come back later and add some orc glyphs and freehand, but I'm happy with this standard for now, let's crack on with the rhino. I'm starting with a nice solid base coat of corn red because I'm painting this in the color of the Blood Angels. And I actually had a real hard time choosing which chapter to paint this because honestly they all look great on these little rhinos. But back in the day, one of my favorite black library things was Blood Quest. I don't know how many of you remember that one, but I felt like the Blood Angels would be fitting opponents of the Orcs when I eventually paint more of these armies. 
And uh, I'm keeping this nice and watered down so we don't clog up any detail, as well as giving it two coats to get it nice and consistent. After that, I'm hitting the model with a dry brush of Mephiston Red. And it doesn't matter about getting paint on the, the non-red parts here because I'm gonna be repainting those bits black in the next step. This is an old school Rhino, so I'm taking a lot of my inspiration here from that historic look for Marines. And I'm going to be brightening up this paint job further after the wash. You don't necessarily need to come back and re-undercoat these details black, but I think it looks a bit nicer and builds more contrast. And the models are so small, I mean, it's quick to do. Any silver is gonna work for these details. You can go quite bright and clean with Marines, or also go, you know, with a darker silver for more contrast with your colors. Both Lead Belcher and Ironbreaker are two great mid-range silvers that I use a lot for this kind of stuff. And for miniatures this small, true metallic metals are perfect. You know, you don't even need to do any highlighting later. Also, I need to paint those uh, headlights yellow. This mini doesn't have too many details that aren't red, so you've got to make the most of the opportunity. A wash like Nuln Oil is not only a shading time saver, it's also going to tie in all the colors on a given model. And as I mentioned with the Battle Wagon, keeping it simple is the way to go when painting in small scales like this. And Nuln Oil is one of the best general washes you can use, I reckon, because it just darkens everything as opposed to introducing new tones. The downside to Nuln Oil when you paint it over the whole model, as opposed to just the cracks and crevices though, is that it does bring down the saturation and I want this Rhino to have a brighter red, so I'm coming back and highlighting everything with Mephiston Red to bring back that color. This is also a great way to start building up those highlights with a couple of layers, and I'm also going to add a few edge highlights with a mix of red and yellow to get some more defined points on the model. I've seen some awesome 3D printed Space Marine armies for Epic with a newer design for armor and vehicles, but I do still really appreciate this old school Rhino design. It's just classic, you know? I like it so much that I think I really want to paint some of the other chapters now too. Oh jeez. I tell you, I've definitely got the bug for Epic after painting these minis, so let me know in the comments if you want to see more stuff like this because I'd be happy to paint it. Finally, a touch more yellow on the lights to brighten them up, and we're good to go. You know, as I mentioned at the start of the video, these minis really do remind me of things like Micro Machines, and are just such a blast to paint because you really do look at them in a different way to larger scale stuff. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Hobby Grotto.